Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand bubble sort algorithm efficiency. The concepts of the working mechanism and the algorithm of bubble sort has been already, already explained in our previous in our data structures course. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because uh, understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. In the data structures course where we have discussed about bubble sort, we have discussed that uh, the bubble sort, we have discussed the two different types of bubble sort algorithms. One is the original bubble sort algorithm the other one is optimized bubble sort algorithm so we'll try to understand the efficiency of both the algorithms we have taken the bubble sort original algorithm this is and this is the optimized uh, bubble sort algorithm and we'll try to analyze both these algorithms and we'll try to find the efficiency of these algorithms and for this explanation uh, for the analysis of this algorithm we are going to take the worst case and the best case scenarios and we'll try to analyze them now coming to this algorithm the original algorithm of bubble sort and this one is going to iterate for n number of times this one is going to iterate from 0 to n minus 1 means uh, uh, so all the iterations are done uh, till the end so this one is going to iterate for n minus uh, n plus 1 number of times the last one is for coming out of this for loop okay and whenever we come into this for loop this one is very important to understand so analyzing the inner for loop will uh, we will get the uh, 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 the number of uh, uh, the number of lines that are executed the program steps executed uh, this inner for loop analyzing this inner for loop is very important to understand now how this inner for loop will work so as we have discussed in the uh, algorithm 0 to n minus i minus 1 n minus i minus 1 why we have taken this n minus i minus 1 because the largest among these elements will be swapped to its uh, to the end of the uh, 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 array okay so as the elements are already in the sorted order so for example in the first iteration this 5 will be iterated to this position this 5 will be shifted to this position because among these elements the largest is 5 and its position is to the end in the next iteration the 4 is identified as the largest and it will be placed in its position 3 will be in its position and 2 will be shifted here and 1 will be shifted here so this is the worst case this is the worst case scenario and this is the best case scenario okay so now so uh, here the concept is so as we uh, uh, as we go on with the iterations it is going to divide this entire array into two halves one is the sorted part at the end and the remaining elements are unsorted part okay that is the reason why we have taken this in the second iteration where the value of i is equal to 1 this one is going to iterate from n minus i minus 1 n minus 1 minus 1 which is n minus 2 5 minus 2 which is 3 so initially it is going to iterate till here and next it, it is going to iterate here okay so it it will uh, 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 one one element less than the number of elements so let's try to understand when the value of i is equal to 0 how many times does it iterate n minus 1 which is 0 to 4 it is going to uh, the number of comparisons that are done is n okay and when the value of i is equal to 1 when the value of i is equal to 1 this is going to iterate from n minus 1 number of times this for loop is going to iterate from uh, uh, this for loop is going to iterate n minus 1 number of times when the value of i is equal to 2 value of i is equal to 2 this one is going to iterate from n minus 2 when the value of i is equal to 4 in the sense last one when the value of i is equal to 4 this one is going to iterate one time okay so this is how this uh, this inner for loop will work now if you analyze this if you analyze this how what is the what is that it is resembling it is the sum of n natural numbers sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 and if you expand this the higher order term is going to be n square the higher order term is going to be n square okay so uh, what is the efficiency of this algorithm even though we are having n plus 1 here so and we are having n square here if you add so we are not 
uh, we are not going to concern so this one is going to uh, combine with this so it is going to be n square plus n plus 1 so among this which one we have to consider we have to consider the higher order term the higher order term is n square so the efficiency of this algorithm in the worst case or in the best case scenario also it is going to take n square number of comparisons why it is going to be the same in the best case scenario that also we will try to understand so as if you come into this for loop this for loop is going to irrespective whether the elements are in the sorted order or in the unsorted order every time it is going to iterate so this for loop will iterate every time so it is not concerned about uh, the, uh, the the way in which the elements are arranged whether the elements are arranged in the sorted order or the elements are arranged in the unsorted order these comparisons are done for any case whatever may be the input these inputs are going to be these comparisons are going to be done in any case and we can say this as theta of n square exact number of comparisons so every time it is going to run n square number of it is going to do n square number of comparisons so let's check for the best case if you take this element uh, uh, so this array so we are going to first do these two comparisons so for loop is going to iterate from 0 to n minus i minus 1 all the comparisons are done all the comparisons are done this condition may fail this condition may fail and uh, these fappings may not be done but this for loop the, we are going to come into this for loop for n square number of times n square number of times means so this condition will fail uh, this 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 is how this for loop will work in the first iteration where the value of i is equal to 0 we are going to come into this this for loop is going to iterate for n times this conditions these conditions will also get compared they may fail but they will get worked means they will they, the comparisons are done but the so uh, but but the uh, output of this comparison is going to be false always because the values are always in the sorted order so this one will never going to be uh, true so a of 1 uh, a of j greater than a of j plus 1 so is it going to be true no it is not going to be true so if you take these two also it is not going to be true these two it is not going to be true a of j is always less than a of j plus 1 okay so the that is the disadvantage of original uh, bubble sort algorithm so all the comparisons are to be done and uh, uh, every time all the comparisons are to be done but in the optimized case in the optimized case this one is going to run so we'll we'll see that also so in detail we'll see that also so this original algorithm is going to take a theta of n square number of comparisons it may be for the best case it may be for the average case or it may be for the uh, it may be for the worst case or it may be average case means some of the elements are in sorted order already in their positions and some of the elements are in the unsorted order so the combination of all the possibilities here it is a worst case means every time all these comparisons are done there is no uh, uh, so so we can uh, if, if the average case is taken means if the average case is taken means so it means that for example 1 2 5 4 3 here 1 2 are already there in the sorted order 4 is all already there in the position 3 is 3 3 is not there in the position so so uh, some of the elements are in the sorted order and some of them are, are not in the sorted order even though it is the average case these comparisons are done these comparisons are done that so that is very important for you to understand and the next is optimized bubble sort algorithm so the optimized bubble sort algorithm for this we will see here in the worst case the scene uh, uh, the in the worst case the same thing repeats it is same as that of the original algorithm here the in the worst case it is going to iterate for n square number of times it is big o of n square so in the worst case so it will do all the comparisons it will do all the comparisons and in the best case in the best case what happens this is very important to understand so what happens is if the elements are already in the sorted order this for loop is going to so the entire comparisons of this for loop is done once at least once so in the process of sorting 
so in the middle for example uh, 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 if if uh, we have seen our in our bubble sort example in the bubble sort algorithm in the fifth iteration in the fifth iteration all the elements are already arranged in the sorting order out of eight iterations in the fifth iterations the elements are getting into sorted order so here so once the elements are in the sorted order it is going to take another another iteration it is going to take another iteration means this for outer for loop is going to take another iteration there in that iteration it is going to decide that the elements are already in the sorted order so uh, one more extra iterations are done and in that these n number of comparisons are done n number of comparisons are done because the elements are already in the sorted order in the first iteration of the for loop where the value of i is equal to 0 so this point is very important to understand that makes the difference between the optimized and the best case uh, scenario okay so in the in uh, whenever the value of i is equal to 0 if the elements are arranged in the sorted order if the elements are already there in the sorted order uh, when the value of i is equal to 0 in the first iteration of this for loop we are going to iterate so all the n number of comparisons are done by this for loop because this swapped is equal to false so in order to execute this first we have to come out of this for loop in order to come out of this for loop this for loop is going to iterate from 0 to n minus i minus 1 n minus 0 minus 1 which is 4 n is 5 5 minus 0 minus 1 which is 4 so from 0 to 4 this for loop is going to iterate and every time this one will fail it may false if condition the the values in the for loop may fail or uh, they may come true they may be false or they may be true but here what we have to understand is these comparisons are done these for loop comparisons are done try to get that point so every time this for loop comparison is done and how many times does this comparison are done these comparisons are done n times and after coming out of this loop because the value of swapped is equal to false so we are not going to execute this line of code so the swapped value will remain false if the swapped value is false then we are going to break this loop we are going to come out of this entire algorithm so in the best case scenario it is going to take n number of comparisons okay so now uh, the original algorithm of the bubble sort is going to take n square number of comparisons even though it is for best case it, even though it is for worst case but the uh, optimized bubble sort is going to take in the worst case or in the average case it is going to take big o of n square number of comparisons if it is in the average case so uh, it is going to take a, a theta of n square number of comparisons and in the best case it is going to take theta of n number of comparisons okay so this is all about the efficiency of bubble sort algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching